So hello and welcome to uh, Film Mixologist. Um, today what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to try to finally get to set the valves um, on the Lister D. Um, before before the, the I'll, I'll show you what the, what the process is going to be but before this in preparation what I did is I used a little bit of cotton wool with some PB plaster and what I used to what I did is I, I put the cotton wool and I run it down the valve guide um, until the cotton wool came came out really clean <coughs> The reason I do that is to make sure that the valve guide is absolutely clean, which I had cleaned it before, but anyway, it's always good just before you assemble the valves, make sure that your valve guides are clean. So what I have here is, I've got here, like this is the intake, this is the exhaust, I get them separate throughout the process. And so what I need to do now is obviously mount the valves. They've been very slightly lubricated with a bit of um, of grease uh, nothing nothing crazy just just a touch really um, so this is the in this is the this is the inlet valve here and this is the exhaust valve I had them I had them kind of switched uh, switched around um, and now what I'm what I'm going to do because I'm, I'm going to obviously turn this turn this down so I can put the um, the the spring and the keeper in. Now to do this, if I were to turn it around just like this, it, it would be very difficult because as you see the combustion chamber is very large. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a secret weapon, which is this little bit of wood here. Uh, so this little bit of wood here will go here and will allow me for the valves to, to keep closed, to, to, to keep the valves closed so I can compress the spring and install the keeper. So hopefully if I do that, I'll be able to have the valves uh, A, moving freely because you can see from here, they absolutely move, move freely and everything is, is absolutely okay. Let me just take this off. So they so they move really really well. I lapped the valves before in another video ages ago. So this is ready to go. So let's let's deploy uh, the secret weapon uh, and let's try and do the um, so this is the inlet and that's the exhaust. So let's let's let me set this up and then I'll show you how it goes how it goes on. Okay, so I've got the first valve set, um, and it was a bit of a fiddly process to be honest, uh, but it's done. So I'll show you what it is. So I put the valve in. Let me show you. Let me show you how it looks like in there. If you can, uh, I haven't got a light around. Yeah, I do have a light around. So let's have a look. Basically what you do here is you're trying to get the valve, you just push it down and then you try to uh, put the keeper in uh, valve which I've got on top of that unit there. So, the process got something more or less like this. You, you set it up and you've got the keeper at about kind of this angle and you get a stout screwdriver and you push this down you need to you need to push it quite strongly really and you need to get, be at the ready with this Boom. there you go Brilliant. So let me show you again. Uh, there it is. 
two valves complete and I'll show you what it looks like uh, on the other side so first of all let me just set this on up so I get a surface so here we go so we've got the two valves ready to go and let me let me just push on one valve slightly there you go and again there you go so they're done so this is this is good it's another milestone uh, complete so now um, now that we've now that I've done this what I need to do is I need to clean um, the head up uh, really well um, maybe I've, I've got a I've got a slight I had a slight issue on the point here at the top uh, and I had to redo the um, yeah, I had to do the uh, the, the grey oxide paint, um, so I'm going to kind of touch it back again. But once I do this, really, and I clean uh, the passages and whatnot, and give it maybe another coat of paint, there are a few bits and bobs that might need that might need covering. I'm really ready to to set the head uh, on the engine, which will be which will be an exciting project and will be. Uh, the next video so hopefully in the next video we'll be able to set the head and move on with the build so see you on the next episode